guys, it's Bryony at Barkenham Palace. So today we're looking at this beautiful, gorgeous little girl called Poppy. And Poppy is a Maltese cross. Poppy, can you look at me? As you can see, Poppy's face has become quite overgrown. And I'm gonna show you how I like to do a nice, short face as requested by the owner, but still keeping that very cute teddy bear look. Okay guys, so the first thing I did with Poppy is I got her washed and blow dried because there's no point in starting to do a face when it's dirty. Faces often collect loads of dirt around them, food around this little muzzle or with particular types of dogs, especially like you, where the hair tends to grow around the eyes, they end up with all this gunky stuff around their eyes. Really not good for your equipment, so make sure you get them washed get all that stuff off there, all that gunk, and now we can start with a nice, clean, dry, and very fluffy face. Okay, so first of all, what I'm gonna do is I look at Poppy's face. It's the eyes that I want to focus on first. Once I clear the eyes, then I'm able to see what I've got to work with. So I start off with a fine blade, and pulling the hair away from the eye, I just go down with the clipper using the corner of my clipper just to remove that excess hair which is just in the corners there. I'm just going to bring it nice and close so you can see that. Just removing the hair that's in those little corners there. You see? So just those edges, just there. I've just removed that hair and then the rest is going to be scissored. It's going to put you back. Hello, Poppy. Okay, so the next thing I do is I use a pretty little hairband and I put Poppy's ears out of the way. Beautiful, lovely straight ears and you want to make sure you don't get them stuck. Okay, so when I do a face, the scissors that I rely on the most are my thinning scissors. So I'm going to start off with Poppy's eyes. I just pull the hair downwards. And what I'm looking for is a very round shape. It's the roundness that gives that little teddy bear look. So I just pull this hair from in between the eyebrows forward. And I'm just going to snip little bits at a time. That's the great thing about the thinning scissors is that um, if you use straight scissors, curved scissors, something that does a permanent snip, you can't do little bits at a time and then readdress it. Whereas I'm constantly doing little snips and then I'm looking at it again, is that enough? So once you've taken hair away, you can't put it back. Okay, so I just lift up the eye I'm just going to take that inner corner there. I have already clipped that, um, which I find is the best way to be able to take as much hair away from there as possible carefully. Okay, next thing I do is I go underneath the eye here and I just want to thin some of that hair away. And when you do that, make sure you lift the eye back, the top eyelid back, to make sure these eyelashes, these beautiful eyelashes are out of the way. What you don't want to do is take those away. And I literally just do three snips there. Because you don't want a big bold patch. And you see how that's just opened that eye up a bit? And I brush that down. And on the other side, again, lifting it back, making sure I'm not getting those eyelashes, two three snips and then just brush it away. Again, eyes are starting to look nice and open now. And then with any face, make sure you keep on taking a step back and looking, readdressing it little bits at a time. So what I'm looking for here with Poppy's nose is a nice circular shape. Just like a little teddy bear, we'll keep circles, keep circles, making everything look nice and soft and not harsh. 
Now, what my custom, customer has asked me for is a short face. And quite often when people say short face, they think harsh. So it's very important for my particular customer that Poppy still looks her sweet self. So keeping all of your scissoring round is the key. You want to focus on roundness. So this little bit around the muzzle here is so important. Always make sure you lift the hair up. Think of it like this. A smile goes up, you want the dog to look happy. So lift the hair up and cut upwards to create a happy looking face. A frown goes down. So if you're brushing things down, you're cutting straight across, you're going to create a harsher look. You need to be coming up at an angle. Okay, so I just brush the hair over the top like that. You see how that just lifts all that hair up and gives me, I start with the chin, because that's going to give me the length that I want. Now again, remembering that this customer said that they wanted it quite short. So I'm using my thin scissors still because I can take little bits away at a time. But using that notion of a smile going upwards, I am literally following the hair up, up and round, like a smile. Like a nice little smile, good girl. And as you can hear, Poppy's starting to snore. She's starting to go to sleep, as most of my doggies do when they get on the grooming table. They tend to drift off to sleep, which is what you want, isn't it? Always want to think of grooming a dog as a pamper session, much the same as you would want yourself. Again, lifting the hair back, up and over. Always make sure that you're brushing enough. Um, for people out there who like to cut their dogs at home, cut their dogs in between the grooms, their professional grooms, I think I speak for most professional groomers when I say, please, please don't cut the face. As soon as you start to cut the face, you interfere with the face that's when it can become quite difficult to get the sweet little look that you want because obviously you don't have the equipment at home unless you do have the equipment at home, in which case this video should help you out. All right, let's just have a look at that. Right, okay, so can you see the, the difference in shape there? We've got the nice roundness coming on and you can see the difference in length. So we're going to do the same moving on to the other side. Good girl. What a good girl you're being. Always make sure that you're saying well done and rewarding your doggies because it requires a lot of patience. Again, hair up and over. And this time, I am cutting downwards, but I'm still going with the same notion. This is just to do with the way that my hand then has to cut for this side. One of the main things about grooming is combing the dog's hair. You'll often find that mistakes are made because somebody hasn't combed enough times. Um, every couple of snips of every 
five to ten snips, depending on what part of the body you're doing, you need to be brushing that hair, brushing, readdressing, constantly looking. Again, same with the nose, up and over. And we can start to get a nice, good girl, good girl. Start to get a nice round look going. <laughs> right, and then always take a step back and look to see the difference difference between both sides. It's always much easier to do the first side than the second side because once you've done the first side, you'll then try to match up the other side. And any groomer will tell you that no dog's face is even or perfect or symmetrical. Exactly the same as humans. Um, so quite often, you have to perhaps leave a little bit more hair on one side to make it even out or remove a little bit more. As you can see, we're starting to get that lovely little round look now. I'm just gonna move you to here. Taking your little tongue out. <laughs> Good girl. Right. And I've done the start of that. What I'm going to move on to is the eyebrows. So the visor, we pull forward. So just pull the visor forward and you're looking for a nice round shape with the visor. So you're just going to follow that round. Again, making sure you're not taking off the dog's eyelashes. Poppy in particular has absolutely beautiful eyelashes. And... Um, some people do like to have the eyelashes cut shorter, but this particular customer likes them to stay nice and long, which I personally like as well. And take some more hair out from the middle there. Very nice. Again. Great thing about thinning scissors is you can just take a little bit away at a time. Hopefully now you can start to see the look that we're going for. Nice little rounded face. just start to match up this side. As you can see here, slightly rounder on this side and slightly more of a squarer angular shape there. So lift that up and over. And that just gives you bits of, those extra bits that are just sticking out. Good girl. And hopefully, 
just like Poppy, any dogs that you groom, as long as you're kind and patient with them, as you should be with any animal, um, they will start to love the groom. And you can see that Poppy is starting to drift off to sleep. Quite often I have dogs on the table snoring away. the hair down and see how it naturally is going to lay. From here I can see that I want to take, I want to take this chin quite a bit shorter actually. Again, thin scissors are fantastic for doing faces because you can just keep taking little bits away at a time. There's nothing more distressing as a groomer than when someone comes in with their dog and they've taken their kitchen scissors that they'd normally cut their bacon with or open a packet with and they've gone straight across the dog's face. Um, and it takes a long, long time for hair on the dog's face to grow back and to get the right shape. So please don't do it. If in doubt, always seek the professional. You got your little tongue poking out. Good girl. Yeah, we're just going to look actually from this angle. Well done. Quickly. Just turn like this. With this hair here, I'm just going to brush it forward. I'm looking for a nice, again, going upwards. Good girl. Stay still. A nice rounded shape. Round, round, round. Brush that back. Good girl, let's have a look at you now. You're such a snowball, aren't you? You're perfect for winter time. Such a snowball. If you're my doggy, I would have called you snowball, I think. Remind me of Tintin's doggy, little snowy. Brush the hair forward, see what hangs over the nose, take it round. Again, up, 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 round, round, round. Should we never do in any straight lines on the dog's face of this particular type of breed? And that's obviously requested or if you're trying something new but if you're going for that classical sort of teddy bear look that everyone seems to want at the moment and why not they look so cute roundness is most definitely the key Little snippy 
few bits on your nose. And for that, I am using a curved scissor. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to take that bit away from your eye also. There we go. Right. Good girl. Come on over with that again. How are we looking? Oh, oh, you're tired. Are you tired? Poppy tired. Oh, what a sweetheart. Okay, so face is looking beautiful. She looks like a tiny little snowball. And I'm just going to take down the ears. Good girl. A poppy has the most beautiful ears. But they are the type of ear that's particularly hard to groom because they're dead straight, absolutely poker straight. So first of all, brush them out with a comb. Make sure there's no knots in them. First thing you want to do is, good girl, I brush it over my hand it's led down nice and flat. Pull out any bits at the end with dead hair. And then using my curved scissors, I just snip along to the sort of length that I want. Stay still. And letting the natural curve of the scissor give me that curve to the ear. Then you lift up the ear. That's it. And this bit can be a bit fiddly. If you could just tuck the doggy's head here behind your arm, as you can see, that's not affecting her at all. You just tuck the head like that. Let the ear, hold the ear out to the side and let it drop. Then you're going to brush it again down straight. And good girl. And what you're looking for is a straighter line along here. So all of this here, Gone. It's going to start to give you a nice curve. Stop. Good girl. It's going to give you a nice curve, nice shape to here. Again, with the ears, continuously, continuously brush them and readdress them because you can easily think, I've done that ear. And then you look back at it and you think, oh my goodness, what's all that hanging down? So I brush mine down and readjust them lots of times. As you can see, see, bits hanging down. Let's have a look at that ear. Good girl, that looks gorgeous. And then the question that I get asked a lot is how do you make sure that the ears match up? Okay, well, first of all, it's extremely difficult to get, um, to get it to match up and you will never get it exactly perfect, but you can try your very best, which is what every groomer does. So what I do is I look at the ear like that and I bring the ears forward just to meet them over the nose like that. You see, and that shows me how much longer this ear is than the other ear. And then with all my doggies, I like to finish their faces with the beautiful bow. 
In Poppy's case, it's going to be pretty and pink. And down. Voila! This is Poppy. Thank you, Poppy. You've been amazing. Bye!